Hello again, Mate Squad, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing to you a makeup tutorial, and it's on this look right here. So it's a halo eye, which I've done before, but it's a halo eye with um, some glitter, and I actually absolutely love this glitter color here. I'm not a big gold fan, but I love this glitter. Like it looks great on any skin tone, warm tone, cool tones can pull this off. I just really, really love this glitter. <laughs> I've even used it as a lipstick. That's how much I love the color of this glitter. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If after viewing it, if you have any questions or comments, just please leave them down below and I'll get back to you. Also, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, what else? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications so you can know when I have a new video coming your way. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, uh, I didn't do an unboxing on this unit, but I will do an update on it. Um, it's a very popular unit. It's been around for at least a year or so, maybe more. It's Bobby Boss uh, Copper uh, Bob unit. So I got her in the color F4 slash 2730. So it has like the caramels and kind of the red kind of tones to it and I actually really love this color uh, I used to dye my hair like this like a long time ago but anyway <laughs> um, I will give you guys um update on her after I've worn her for you know three or four weeks right now this is only my second day so far I absolutely love her but that's not what this tutorial is about it's about my makeup <laughs> so uh if you have any questions again leave them down below um, just to give you guys a background, I do use, uh, all of my products are pretty much Motives Cosmetics. Um, I really do love this line. Um, it has, besides just having um, benefits to the skin, um, where it doesn't clog the skin, the colors are very pigmented. Um, there's aloe in different products, kind of soothe the skin. It's hyperallergenic. It's just a really, really fun and, and beautiful line that offers you a lot of benefits uh, towards your skin so yes i can go out there and do my my other products i used to use um yes they're cheaper but then i started thinking about you know my health and my skin and i don't look my age and i want to continue that <laughs> as i get older i still want people to think i'm younger um as far as the way i look not because of my mindset but anyway um, and to do that, I have to take care of my skin. So that means that I have to invest in products that are going to actually benefit me and not cause harm in the long run. So that is why I switched over to Motives and that's why I use uh, Motives in all of my makeup tutorials. Uh, I will include my link if you would like to try out any of the products. Also, if you send me um, a message, I can also give you a special discount code if you wanna try out any of the products. So uh, I do have a Facebook group page and I'll link that down below as well. So you can always join in there. Um, because I get more, uh, go in more depth with beauty tips and tricks and different things um, that you can, you know, benefit from. Um, and just so you can get to know me a little bit more because I'm awesome. <laughs> We're all awesome. So don't, um, don't, I'm not conceited or anything. But you should always tell yourself, tell yourself that. Remind yourself that you're awesome. We all make mistakes. We all go through the rough patches, the down times, the depression, different things like that. And you just got to remind yourself that you're human. And um, a lot is going on in this world. It's like information overload and um, we've lost our way, but don't lose your way personally. You know, find your way back. Remember the happiness. Remember good times. Remind yourself of that. Remind yourself that you're a good person and you'll get back on track because um, this world is hectic. So we got to remember to be happy and to have fun. You know, that's why I like doing the makeup. Uh, besides being an artist, I love, you know, creating and transforming and, you know, creating different looks and having fun with color because color is amazing i love color i love the the concept of the different colors in the world and so anyway that's how i try to brighten up and use my gifts and talents and to have fun and to try to just brighten up someone's day and brighten up my day and different things like that so whatever makes you happy make sure you do that because uh, you only get one life so as long as it doesn't hurt anybody and doesn't hurt yourself go for it because uh, in just in today's times we just need to remind ourselves of the beauty and the love and the happiness that does exist in the world yes there's a lot going on there's a lot of negative and evil stuff but there is the goodness there and that's what we need to focus on and you know make efforts to bring that out and to acknowledge that so hopefully <laughs> get us all back on track because <laughs> I would like to be on track you know we're, we're just too smart and just too creative and just too awesome as human beings to not just be working together to you know make this a wonderful existence in life for everybody around the world across the board 
So anyway, that's enough of my rant. <laughs> uh, again, I hope you enjoy this look. I have fun creating it. It is time for me to get to work. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day after you watch this or while you're watching this. And thank you so much for taking the time. I do greatly appreciate it. And I'm going to work on more looks to get to you guys and get them uploaded to my channel. Because uh, I do appreciate people who have subscribed. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, I will have more unit updates and makeup tutorials. Okay, so let's way. finally get All started right, after my long Bye. intro Bye. and rant. <laughs> okay, so of course we're going to start off with our eyeshadow base. You're going to smooth that all over the eyelid. That way it locks in your color. It helps even out your uh, skin, give you a fresh clean palette to add on your colors for the day. Okay, so first, oh, before that, uh, always wanna set your eyeshadow base with um, an eyeshadow. Uh, this helps to, lim to avoid any creasing, soak up any oil, and just locks that in place so that your eyeshadow is able to stay all day through whatever it is you're doing for the day. So we're going in with the transition color. I'm using my favorite one, which is caramel. And <laughs> I'm looking at myself in the mirror, sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna add that into um, the crease area. Again, the transition color, using a windshield wiper motion to blend that all in so that we create that nice gradient effect. All right, so now that we have our transition color laid down, we're gonna go in with our crease color. And this is the color T Temperature Rising. It's a beautiful chocolate brown color. And unfortunately, I'm not able to show it to you because I have dropped it on numerous occasions and it's a crumbled mess and I have not moved it to another, to another container or used alcohol method to kind of reset it. So, but you can see the color here in the video. And after that, we're gonna go in with this gold color here. And as you can see, I have dropped this palette on numerous occasions. Doing your makeup in the bathroom where you don't have carpet, uh, you know, it's gonna create instances where you drop something and stuff breaks. So unfortunately, I have a few of those. So I'm just beginning the halo process by adding that gold color to the outer corners of my eyes and then to the inner corners. And I am so sorry. I think I have, um, there's a smudge on the lens. So that's why it's not as clear as it normally is. And I do apologize for that. But hopefully you can see uh, the process that I'm doing here. And so now I'm going in uh, with the black eyeshadow from the Elements palette. This is my go-to palette. If I'm ever in a rush and I want to add eyeshadow, I just grab this palette. And you can create so many different looks with the neutral colors that are in there. So after I've added the black shadow uh, right next to that gold, I'm just blending it uh, really well to create the, the halo effect. So you want to make sure you blend, take your time to really blend that so that uh, it, it just kind of, all the colors kind of blend into one another with the gradient effect. So I'm adding some eyeshadow glue and then here is this beautiful gorgeous glitter that I am adding to the eyelids. So as soon as you add the glue, you can go ahead and add the glitter um, because if, if it gets too tacky, once you put the brush on there, it just picks up the glue. So you could just use it, um, go ahead and apply the glitter while, as soon as you immediately apply the glue. So now it's time for the face and I am putting on my primer, of course, that way your makeup just stays all day, smooths out the skin and gets it prepped and ready. And then I'm spraying with my um, setting spray. So this helps, again, another trick or tip to use to keep your makeup lasting your foundation foundation lasting all day and it also helps keep your oil at bay and so here I'm going in with my corrective uh, color this is in the color amber I believe um, if that's the wrong um, name or color of the shade I will leave that below and then I'm grabbing my um, real techniques uh, beauty sponge spraying it with a setting spray and just blending that corrective color into the skin to cover my dark marks before I add my foundation and again the reason why I use corrective color is so that you don't have to use um, all of your foundation to try to cover any dark spots um, over the face or if you have any redness and stuff like that all right and then I'm using the technique of using a moisturizer to blend all my foundation on the face and as I mentioned before, motives about being fun, 
is the custom blend foundation I'm using here. You know, it's custom blended to match my skin perfectly. I added in the different things I like, such as the mattifier for oil, oil control to control the oil. There's also um, hydrator in there to hydrate uh, the areas that are dry on my face. Um, well, with the custom blend, I can just create like eyeshadows. I can create lipsticks. I had so much fun making lip, uh, lipsticks the other day. So, and then here, uh, Right after I apply my foundation, I did set it again with the setting spray. And now I'm going in with another custom blend item, which I custom blend uh, concealer for myself because I ran out of the pre-made one and I was going to order it. And I was like, uh, hello, you can mix your own. So boom, there it is. And then, um, after I kind of blend it in uh, with a brush, I'm just making sure it's really blended into the skin using the damp uh, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And you really want to just make sure everything is blended into your face, your concealer, and also your foundation. Just like you blend your eyeshadow, you want to blend everything else you put on your face. And that helps eliminate the um, cracking and um, creasing and stuff like that. So I applied the translucent powder to set um, the areas on my face. And now I am dusting it off with my compact. This is the dual foundation in neutral golden. And so, so basically I've already baked, removed the powder, and just setting everything in place. And then after that, of course, I'm going in with my favorite, which is the Evian uh, facial spray, mineral facial spray. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't have time to remove that off there. I was like, eh, as long as I can get to it, we're all good. So just give it a good shake and just spray it on your face. And this just helps all the powders to melt into the skin. Also, it's great for the summertime. If you live in a hum humid area like I do, just give yourself a spritz. So refreshing. Also to help wake yourself up. So now I'm going to the under eye area. If you don't want to do this step, you can definitely skip it. So again, applying the eyeshadow base so that the eyeshadow stay all day because I have oily under eyes. So this just locks everything in place. So I'm going in with caramel and kind of doing the same thing that we did before. You lay down your lightest shade first. So I'm laying down caramel and just applying that underneath the eye area. I love the face I make. Does everybody make that face when they're putting on <laughs> their under eye area? Especially when you're doing um, mascara. Just love the faces we make. Okay, and now I am going in uh, with the black eyeshadow and just um, applying that closer to the waterline and the lower lash line. And you just want to make sure that it's all blended in so it's just like a smooth transition from the black eyeshadow into that, uh, that caramel shade. And again, like I said, if you want to skip this part, you definitely uh, can. It's not a must. And so we're just repeating what we did on the top. We're repeating to the under uh, area. So that's why we're going to go back in with the glitter. And so I just put a little bit of the glue. And then I'm going to apply the a glitter right there. And you want to be very careful because I applied this glue. I was in a rush and I kind of glue glued my lower lashes to my skin so when I went in to put in the mascara yeah it was a uh, no bueno so uh, just be careful you might want to use something else to kind of lift up your um, lower lashes so that they don't get stuck to the um, to your skin just just you know a helpful tip for anyone trying to recreate this look okay and our next step is to apply the blush and here I'm using the color vanity and guess why I didn't show you vanity? Did, 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 did you guess? Did you, did you figure it out? Yeah, yeah. So basically I broke vanity as well. So <laughs> I don't know. I guess I, I didn't think I was that clumsy, but obviously I am. I can't even blame it on the kids. Like it was me. I did it, not the kiddos. And so here I'm going in to apply eyeliner. Uh, again, if you don't want to do eyeliner, you don't have to. I was really debating on if I wanted to add the eyeliner. So I went ahead and did that. So you're adding the eyeliner here. And I did my eyebrows off camera if you're wondering how I had eyebrows and then I didn't and now I do. So I just went ahead and did that off camera. And oh, the best part, oh, I gotta get the highlighter. <laughs> I love highlight. At first I was like, why is, there, why is everybody highlighting their face? And then once I tried it, it was like, I'm like obsessed as you can see here. Like you cannot have enough highlighter. I just, I don't care what people say. Like I gotta have this highlighter on my face. <laughs> So, sorry guys I'm just in a playful uh, mood um, as I'm <laughs> doing this voice over here yep gotta go back in okay no I'm just kidding okay so make sure the highlighter is blended you don't want like blocks of highlight all over your face and then I'm just going in and specifically going to the area of my cupid's bow 
um, I kind of like this. I've been doing this uh, this um, technique lately. All right, now it's time to line the lips, and I believe I'm using the shade Tinder. And I can't remember the lipstick I'm using here. I believe this is Sassy. And that's it for this look. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.